An amateur astronomer in B.C. has made a discovery that has gained NASA's attention. Scott Tilley is an electrical technologist. He searches for spy satellites using radio frequency signals from his home. And last month, a signal led to the discovery of a satellite that NASA thought was gone forever. Scott Tilley joins us now from Robarts Creek, B.C. Scott, thanks for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, explain to us in plain language, if you can, what you were looking for and how you made this discovery. I was looking for Zuma, a classified U.S. Uh, government mission that was launched in, uh, by SpaceX in early January. Um, a group of us, a very small group of us, uh, were looking for that satellite, and I was tasked with looking for it on radio. Okay, so you're out to find one thing. How did you find something else? Well, I was scanning a bunch of spectrum, and I found an unusual radio signal in the in the noise. And uh, I knew immediately it wasn't Zuma. It was a satellite in high Earth orbit. And when I uh, used some software that we have to identify it, it came back as a NASA's image mission. And NASA's image satellite was launched in 2000. So when you sort of plugged in your information and that's what came up, what were you thinking? Initially, I wasn't overwhelmed by it. I see a lot of stuff when I'm scanning uh, for, uh, for satellites. And uh, I picked up other uh, missions in similar orbits, so I wasn't immediately uh, overwhelmed by it. Uh, after uh, studying a little bit longer, um, it started to pique my interest, and I started doing some more research, and then I found the NASA's uh, failure report, which made me think, oh, this is not supposed to be working. Okay, so we're going to pause for a moment. I want people to hear the sound that you heard, okay? So let's do that. We'll come back and talk. Okay. Okay, so that is the sound that many of us would, would think is just air, uh, meaning nothing. But you, when you hear that, what goes through your mind? What are you hearing? I can hear the Doppler effect uh, on, a, on a steady carrier. And uh, if you listen to it over a prolonged period of time, you'll hear it slowly rising tone. And that's indicative of a, of a spacecraft in high Earth orbit. Okay, so this particular satellite they'd written off because they'd stopped getting or stopped contact with it or lost contact with it, I guess, in 2005. Uh, and then they stopped <laughs> looking for anything from it a couple of years after that. They basically gave up on it. It's still sending a contact messages, some sort of frequency. Do we know what kind of information it is sending back to Earth? Um, actually, we do. Uh, and NASA, uh, after I notified NASA, they uh, were rummaging around in there <laughs> trying to get equipment that could work with this old satellite together. And they've been able to get uh, basic telemetry frames from it and uh, basically housekeeping data about the spacecraft bus. So they're working right now to try to figure out how to decode all that information, and they should probably know very shortly how healthy the satellite is. And how, <laughs> how useful can this information be? Will it be used in any way? Um, yes, it's going to determine whether the satellite can be um, uh, essentially repurposed, put back into operation. Okay, so what did NASA say when you reached out? Um, the, I, when I re initially reached out, they were quite excited. Um, not the NASA guys, they're pretty serious about things, but the, uh, the, the scientists were quite excited. Um, the NASA guys were really professional and uh, just focused on the facts. And, uh, you know, we just worked together sharing information. And lo and behold, uh, they were able to get their stuff together and figure out it was really image. And what did the scientists say? Um, there was a lot of you know, uh, excitement. They were, yeah. They're just they're waiting to hear whether their uh, science payloads can be reused because they really value the, uh, the stuff that's on that satellite. Well, there you go, Scott Tilley in Robarts Creek, B.C. Thank you uh, so much for joining us. Appreciate you sharing that story. Yeah, thank you for, for having me.